If you're going up there and you're spending research dollars and money to get to space and to train these astronauts, you want them there as long as you can have them. So, yeah. uh, but that was in 2019. And, you know, we had a lot of persistence that, you know, we'll make sure that our program is sustainable. We'll make sure that we um, uh, could collaborate with all of the different partners. And today, as you see, we're on a long duration mission. Our astronauts uh, are training in NASA. They've been training uh, at the Johnson Space Center for about three years. Uh, we have two new astronauts we've selected as well, Mohammed uh, Al-Mulla and Noura al Madrushi. She's the first Arab woman to be selected as an astronaut. And they've been training now for a year and a half in NASA, in NASA's ASCAN class. So they're part of the group of uh, NASA astronaut candidates who are coming in and they're training with them. So, I mean, if you're able to uh, make sure that your astronauts are training the same way American astronauts are training, then why aren't you able to take long duration missions and do EVAs and do all of the other things that other astronauts do? So luckily, of course, then you 